now before jumping into system i'll i'll just explain one more thing now what sap simplification is for that sap is not more interested to do any simplification in your long term planning model this is my uh, personal experience and that's what i seen okay so for that purpose what sap has created in 1909 sap has launched a new product that is called pmrp predictive material and resource planning so this is same like ltp we are getting all the things what here exactly the same way in pmrp but there are some good uh, advantages and that is why sap recommends to go ahead with pmrp instead of long term planning okay i will put here with a different color so what sap has given here in pmrp here we saw like we need to create planning scenario do the simulation mode we check the things okay if something is there manually we need to adjust the things and we need to do the planning for my real mrp run but here in pmrp sap just provided to fury applications okay i'll put the fury applications with uh, cloud where is cloud um just a minute i think so that it will be okay okay no problem so uh, i'll put this symbol for view replication so what sap has done sap has provided some fury applications you know is really not good just a minute mm-hmm. okay i'll put that's fine the fury application name is schedule p m r p simulation creation and the next one is i'll put it like this and the next one is we'll see how it work actually next one is process pmrp simulation that's it here in long term planning we are supposed to do so many thing correct but in the pmrp what sap has provided sap has provided only two uh, applications by these two fury application we can do the same thing what uh, our uh, long term planning is given to us also we have a more flexibility to do this thing manually here in ltp we have so many constraint while doing we are just checking the things in the report and this thing and we need to do so many things manual but here in the pmrp with these two application we can achieve the things what we are getting here in ltp okay that's what sap has given so here the same way we will discuss in later okay you are uh, uh, you need to create the plan at planning version don't copy anything uh, from this thing okay you can simply schedule one pmrp job okay then you can go ahead and process that uh, mrp simulation if there is any change in demand then you can copy that uh, you know uh, simulation plan to active version and go ahead with your mrp okay so it will be like this i'll, I'll put uh, i don't know i am not getting all the symbols to put it no problem okay Okay, I'll put it here. Like uh, when we release this plan, release plan, 
will copy copy to inactive version if you have did any changes okay in the demand plan during this thing like this so that once you release this uh, simulation it will copy it to the inactive version and if you want to proceed with that uh, change plan you can just copy this inactive version to active version and go ahead with your mrp that's it if this thing is not there you have you haven't done any changes in this simulation you can simply directly go ahead with your mrp without doing anything so this is what there sorry this is what there in okay so this is my pmrp this is my ltp now if you look into the ltp and all the process is little uh, complicated also when we uh, we will we will run all end to end cycle that time you will come to know why sap is recommending us to go ahead with pmrp instead of uh, long term planning we will run both the cycles we will try to analyze the results exactly what we discuss here and then we will be in that position to decide okay pmrp is much better than ltp